Hey y'all, Dave here, Double Hook Angling. How y'all doing today? Well, I want to do a quick little one real quick. And this one is uh, kind of a vertical type ice jig for some slower stuff, maybe for some trout or what have you. So let's get started. Get that thread locked on there. Get it trimmed off. And on this jig, it's a little different. What we're going to be using is... Um, well, I'll find the right one here. What do I do with my purple? Oh, here it is. And we're going to start off with a little mini, mini sparkle braid purple. And we're going to have a 164th ounce jig on a size uh, 8 hook or 6 hook. That's a 6 on size 6. I pour these so far ahead of time, I forget, and just sitting there trying to stare at the size. It's hard to remember, guys. But I'm going to take this on this sickle hook. I'm going to take this thing, and I'm going to come clear back here halfway on that braid. Or, I mean, on the bend. I'm going to take this braid halfway down between the, the first bend and the second bend on this sickle hook. Okay? Then, what we're going to do is we're going to get some red wire. You can see that. We're going to get some red medium wire. We're going to tie that piece in there too. And you're going to run that all the way back the same way. And then all the way back up. Then you're going to take your braid and you're going to wrap that all the way up to about a quarter inch from the head of your jig, but you wanna just lay them next to, lay it next to each other. And go. It's gonna take a minute, because this is a small is a small braid. And you can get thicker, but. Get that whip wrapped off and tied off there. Then you're gonna take your wire and you can go either way with the wire. Some people go backwards. Some people go forward. Like I said, it don't matter. So just make sure you evenly space them. And you're going to go about a millimeter apart. Eighth of an inch or so. You know, I, and just kind of try to keep them spaced evenly as you go up. And I'm having to re go back and do this. I need a little bit more light what I need. You know, the older we get, the harder it is to see. Even with new glasses, it's still kind of rough. But get that broke off. And then um, on this one, I'm going to, since it's got a pink head and that uh, blue body and that uh, red... You can finish it off with pink, like that, which I do really like. So, or I was going to use cotton candy. I had a piece of cotton candy here just a minute ago. Thought I did. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. I was going to use cotton candy, but this just set right here, so let's use it. And then you're just going to wrap this like this. And this would be like a big coronamid or uh, nymph or whatever you want to call the thing. But this little jig, these are really good for ice fishing and uh, fishing off the end of the dock. So, hey guys, that's the jig for the day. So, hey, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. And, and remember, like, and subscribe. And uh, go tie something. We'll see you later.